Hey guys, welcome to another video lesson. One of my subscribers had a request how to tremolo pick because I'm not very consistent. So that's what we're going to be looking at today in this lesson. So what you heard at the beginning of this video is a great example of tremolo picking in a rock style. <laughs> It's a form of alternate picking where you continuously pick up and down like this. Tremolo picking quite simply uses this technique at a very fast tempo and it creates a kind of wavering sound like a tremolo pedal. Hence the name tremolo picking. A great example of this being used in a popular song is Mizaloo by Dick Dale. I hope I said that right. Mizaloo? Mizalua. <laughs> this technique is used a hell of a lot in surf rock, heavy metal, Latin music and of course rock, but you can find it in any genre of music. It's definitely a technique you should learn. It's quite a demanding and difficult technique to learn at first, but don't give up, you'll get there. It's definitely worth it because it does sound incredible. And once you nail it, you're gonna feel like a rock god. So don't give up. And if you follow this video, you'll be tremolo picking in no time, I promise. The key is to start slow and be super accurate. Your metronome is your best friend. In this video today, I'm gonna to be mostly using the Beat Buddy, which is an awesome pedal. It's basically a drum machine. You can change the tempo to anything you like. I find personally this keeps me more focused on practice, but a metronome will do the job perfectly if that's all you have. First of all, before we look at exercises, let's look at our right hand or our picking hand. When I'm tremolo picking, I like to rest my palm on the bridge of the guitar like this. It gives me a good anchor point to get to the strings. You can do it here. However, you can do whatever feels comfortable to you. Of course, Van Halen has this very odd technique where he kind of plays his wrist down here. I personally can't get on with that, but to be fair, I haven't really practiced it. So I recommend resting on the bridge like so. And every time without fail, I seem to be very accurate by doing that. I can still do it without resting on the bridge, but I don't feel like I'm um, very accurate. But to be fair, I'm still resting my palm on the guitar body as well. In terms of the plectrums that you use, I'm using a 1.40 millimeter Ernie Ball Everlast pick. I don't know if you can see it there. This is quite a thick, sturdy pick, so you might not like it. Maybe if you're a beginner, you can go for something like this, which is a 0.73 millimeter. It's quite bendy, so when you're doing your tremolo picking, it gives you a little bit of leeway. I never use light picks personally. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Just in case you're a complete beginner, let's go through how you hold a pick quickly. So pretend you've got a gun like this, put your plectrum on top of your first finger like that, and then put your thumb on top. And then you've got a little bit of the edge showing like this. That's how I hold my pick in a nutshell. Okay, so what we want to do next, when I'm picking, I don't keep adjacent to the strings like this. I actually, angle my plectrum downwards like this. I highly recommend this technique when you're picking, not only for tremolo picking, but also for um, sweet picking and just alternate picking in general. The slanted pick really helps you stop getting stuck on the strings while you're doing the fast up and down motion. Up and down. I suggest practicing like this with an open E just to get used to it. This way you can concentrate on your right hand and you've not got to worry about your left hand or your fingering hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at 100 BPM, 100 beats per minute, and we're gonna be playing quarter notes. So that means we're gonna be playing on the beat. So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna be going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up constantly. So let's get a beat going at 100 BPM. So, one, two, three, four. Oh. 
Okay, so next up we want to play eighth notes. So this will be one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Two, three, four. Okay, so we've done our quarter notes, our eighth notes. Let's now do our sixteenth notes. So that will go one, two, three, four, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Let's do that. So down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. I can't, I can't say that. Anyway, so it's one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So the idea is you start off super slow while you're playing to your metronome or drum beat and you gradually build up your picking. So eventually you're going to get to a high tempo where you're going to really struggle. Now this is important. So let's say you start at 100 BPM and you absolutely find even with the 16th notes, put it up a notch, put it to 105, do the same thing. Let's say you get to 140 BPM, you're really struggling and messy when you get to your 16th notes. This is going to be the point you need to make a note of. So put that in your diary. Today I got to this BPM and I struggled with it. So I was good at, let's say, 125. So the next day, what you want to do is practice the same thing again and see if you can get a few beats per minute faster. And keep making note of this every day and I guarantee after a week or two you'll be doing maybe 10 BPM or 20 BPM faster. And a few weeks later out of nowhere you'll be going... One thing I really want to make clear, make sure you're not straining your wrist. You'll notice that I'm very relaxed. It's all in the wrist. I'm not moving this arm, there's no tension here at all. And I like to keep my fingers closed like this. I used to have them open like this, but I found that since I've been closing them up like this, it's really helped with my technique. So I recommend you do this. I was using this for years. It looks really cool, but it's not great for your technique. In my opinion, from my own playing, I would say. Let's just ramp it up to 190. One, two, three, four. And eighth notes. Sixteenth notes coming. So that's really at the edge of my abilities at the moment. So I'd write down in my diary, I got up to 190 BPM. I need to come back tomorrow and see if I can get to 195. Every BPM that you gain a day is definitely some gains. The great thing is without even realizing you're starting to tremolo pick. So next time you're playing a guitar solo, you can now apply this to your scales. <laughs> we're going to apply exactly the same formula but to a scale. Let's work with A minor pentatonic which will look like this. We'll use shape one. Assuming now that you've got a bit faster after doing the first lot of practicing, let's ramp this up to 140 BPM just so it's not going to really drag going through the scales. So at first we want to do our quarter notes. One, two, three, four. So next we want to do our eighth notes like this. One, two, three, four. And finally, our sixteenth notes one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a.
So this is where it gets a lot more difficult because you're changing strings and this is when the slanted pick is really useful. So when you're changing those strings, you're not going to get caught on the previous one. But that's another great exercise you want to do as well. So start super slow and then speed it up. So that's how you learn how to tremolo pick. Once you get good at this and you get it up to speed, you can apply this to all your different scales. We could do it for the major scale. We could apply it to Phrygian dominant. We could apply it to Lydian mode. You can apply it to any scale and have so much fun over backing tracks. So that's it. It's not that difficult once you get dug in. I guarantee after a few days you'll start to see results, maybe even sooner if you practice very hard, but you'll definitely see results in a couple of weeks. And I'm excited to see the comments below of your progress, so please let me know how you get on. And also, let me know what kind of lessons you guys are looking for on my channel, and I'll try and do them in the future. If you need more scales to apply this technique to, I do have a book out called The Ultimate Guitar Scales Book. Let me see if you can see it there. Um, it's on Amazon, so you can get it worldwide. Um, I'm very proud of it. It's basically a Bible of every single scale you'd ever need in contemporary music. There's over 30 scales and modes, 80 shapes you can use all over the fretboard. And of course, you can apply the tremolo technique to all of them and have a lot of fun. I upload backing tracks now on my channel every weekend. It's something new and you can apply all of these techniques I'm teaching you to them. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, leave a like, all that good stuff. And I'll see you for another video very soon. Take care, man. Oh, I feel it now. I can't make you smile.